Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Jane again, and I've got another quick video about the University of Cincinnati and Bowling Green State University model lessons and templates made for Schoology, but this time I'm gonna show you how to access these, pull them into your course, uh, review them and make them your own. So from Schoology, you can access them one of two ways. I'm going to go into one of my sample courses. You could go into a sandbox or any course that you want, and I'm just going to add materials, and I'm going to import from resources. This is the first way that we can get there. Okay, to access these, they are under the category of group to the far left. You can collapse your group resources if you want because they're actually under school resources in group. You look for the name Cincinnati Public Schools and click on that. Right here is where you can access those course templates or the pre-release model lessons and we do want you to submit your feedback. So let's say that you teach uh, first grade and you wanna pull one of their lessons into your course. I'm gonna click here, go to the K3 ELA, Win Wisdom. I can pull over all of first grade right there, or I can drill in and pick a specific lesson if I want to. For my purposes, I think it's gonna be better if I pull in all of the first grade folder. So I'm gonna click that and click import. All right, it checks with me if I wanna pull in all the content, I say yes. And then just remember that Schoology drops that content right down to the bottom of your course. If you would prefer to place it inside of a folder you already have, you can do that. You just look for this little green line and click the plus sign. I wanna put my folder right in here. Scroll all the way down again to import from resources and follow the same steps. Those were group under school, Cincinnati Public, and then this time I'm gonna pull in a template. So I will pull in from ELA, my wit and wisdom, and I will just pull in that whole set of templates and import. All right, I'm gonna import it. And now it's in my course. And so since I dropped it in that folder, you can see it's right there in between. Now, the other way that you can get there is by your drop down arrow by your name. Your school name will appear here. When you click on that, at the top of the list, it says Cincinnati Public Schools. So you just scroll up to the top of the list. All the schools in the district are listed. Over in resources, you can go to the gear to the right of the resources and add them to your course. Or I'm going to show you one other thing you can do. You can add them to your course right from here. So you would select the course. So put it in any course you want, or if you don't have a course right now to build in, you can always copy to and put it in your own resources. So I suggest home. It'd be great if you made a folder. I made one called remote learning, and I'm gonna hit copy, and then it goes into my resources. All right, now let's look at editing real quick. When I'm in my courses, if I want to make this my own, I can simply just go to the gear to the right, click edit, and I can begin to customize and personalize these templates. So I would just edit. Pay attention for the blue highlights. Those are going to be items that a teacher would need to edit in the ready-made um, resources. So look for those blue uh, highlights in any lesson content that you pull over, such as this one here. Uh, this is the first grade lesson, and there's a prompt to the teacher at the bottom to create a short video of you modeling a lesson. So follow that prompt. So that's it. That's your quick tidbit video on how to pull these into your course. And please don't forget to submit your feedback on those pre-release models, uh, those pre-release model, les model lessons. Uh, we need your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.